Hi there guys, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today I want to take a bit of an updated look at the First Spear Strandhold plate carrier. Quite an in-depth review on this uh, a while back when they first sort of came out into, into public hands. You can uh, just click up here to watch that for the, for the details on how exactly they put these together. Um, but I just wanted to look at um, a couple of specifics today. I've got my, uh, my original one here in a size small, which I've been using uh, for a while now. And, uh, and I've got another one here in medium, which I picked up a bit more recently, and it's a slightly updated version. Now, um, one thing I did have a question on not too long ago, which I thought was a very good question on, on, from, the, from the comments in the original review, was about storage of side plates, ceramic plates. If you're running plates front and back, chances are you're probably going to want them in the, uh, in the sides and the cummerbund there as well, just to give you that extra bit of ballistic protection. It's a good question that I didn't cover before. Now, um, in terms of storing side plates, what you have is, uh, well, what I'll do is I'll take the cummerbund out. Good thing about the, uh, the tubes on these carriers is it's pretty easy to take the cummerbund out of it. So that's the uh, that's the cummerbund removed now. Um, I'll take this one section here, this would be all around here. What you've actually got is, because of the 612, the way it works is you've got cordura on the outside and then it's all lined with a very fine Velcro loop on the inside. So when you break it open like so, what you've got is a large piece of Velcro hook, just there attached onto the spacing mesh and that sits just on the inside when it's folded back in and then you've got this tab which you can remove but all you do is you place this onto the inside of the 612 I'm failing at it right now place it in like that and then it folds over the top of your side plate and it will interact and uh, attach to this hook with Velcro that holds your side plate in. You've got a, uh, well you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, about six and a half pals rows there. So uh, it's basically about, you, you can fit a plate that's around six inches tall into there. And then one, two, three, four, five. Similar again in the columns. So you're talking of around uh, a six by six inch side plate that you can fit into either side of the cummerbund here and it, it will be held in with that tab in terms of uh, vertical movement and then once you've compressed all this hook velcro up against 612 velcro on the front that is going to just basically hold the whole thing in place and just cinch it right down and secure it. So I'll tuck that away for now. thing is of course with the tubes is uh, where most plate carriers have a, have a large flap on the front here that you lift up with tons of velcro and then you, you place a, a corresponding piece of velcro that's attached to the side of the cummerbund you would place it in and then fold the flap down over it. I'm sure a lot of you know if you've ever worn any sort of plate carrier that when it's actually when you've got it in front of you it's easy to get it perfectly lined up when you're wearing it Got that, you're trying to hold this big thing and you, you've got the pouches on the front of it and they're full of mags and you're trying to hold that up and the, then your cummerbund's got all pouches on it full of kit and it's falling down here somewhere you grab it for it you've got to get it around try to get it placed you know perfectly uh, in the center line vertically lined and then get that thing closed down on it you never get it right it's never quite in the right place at the right angle that sort of thing and um, you end up with your side plate not being in quite the place it should be with the uh, with the tubes, you just click that into place. And that's it. Your side plate's always going to go exactly where it needs to be, where you've set it up to go. Another small update that they've done is to the shoulder pads. One slight criticism, very nitpicky, but slight criticism I had with this very early version of the Strandhold was that the shoulder pads have nothing to keep them in place. They can just slide around. And obviously sometimes 
the way you move, you can end up when you duck down or when you crouch, lean over, all that sort of thing. The the carrier will be supported more by your chest and your uh, and your abdomen kind of area, and that will take the weight off the shoulder strap momentarily, and then these can slip around and they they end up basically not in the position you set them to be in. And the updated version, all they've done is just on this on the shoulder pad here, they've put some Velcro hook. The, the underside of the shoulder pad always had this loop anyway, so then when you attach them together, the shoulder pads cannot go anywhere at all. Wherever you set them, that's where they're going to stay. In terms of the, the sizing difference, because uh, uh, the first bit of website isn't terribly clear on this, but um, basically if you pick up, you've got the small here, it's essentially the same width, all they do is add some of the elastic at the sides. It's still six PALS columns, um, but they just add this little bit of a elastic fabric in the sides here that allows for the slightly wider plate. Obviously this is a sappy cut, so a medium. The plate carries a size when you purchase one by the plate that you want to put into them. So this is a medium, so it takes a medium plate. Slightly wider, and then it is one PALS row taller. Which, uh, might be tricky to show clearly, but you can see that the medium is just that little bit taller to fit the different plate. And that, that, that's about all the differences. The, you've got four different sizes, the small, the medium, large, and the extra large to uh, line up with the appropriate sappy plates. And um, the small and the medium carriers will come with the same cummerbund, small, small slash medium cummerbund. Uh, and the, it's just these the front and, and the back sections that change in order to accommodate those different plates. But it, as you can see, it's a fairly it's a fairly minor change. Just just gives you the exact right amount of material to hold the plates that you need without adding more fabric and more stitching and velcro and blah blah blah, uh, just, which just obviously adds more weight and bulk. So there we go. That's the uh, little update. Kind of a news thing there on the, on the Strand Dog plate carrier from First Beer. My uh, this is one that I've had for over a year now. Seen a bit of use and it's showing very little signs of uh, very little signs of giving up the ghost or, or any wear at all really. Um, there's a bit the sort of the shoulder the uh, the hyperlon fabric on the shoulder pads here has got a little bit of shiny. I've had a few loose threads come off the shoulder strap around the velcro just on the sides. Um, but two seconds with a lighter just to burn them down and they haven't come back again. The tubes have held up really well. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask, you know, with this 612 stuff, they think it's not going to be strong, but it's held up no problem, especially when you're like attaching, reattaching pouches and you're, you're wrestling with it, you're like trying to get some malice clips through and you're, you're really wrenching at these cuts and it just, they just don't go. They just, you, you know, you look at them and you think they're going to split easily, but they simply don't. So uh, really impressive technology from First Beer there. If you want to check out their website, I'll put a link down in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys, as always, and I'll see you next time.